Hey guys, Gary J here. Today we're looking at a very unique pistol. Some of you guys can look at this emblem here and say, well, I know that's a Smith & Wesson. It even looks like a Smith & Wesson. It's got to be a Smith & Wesson. So it is a Smith & Wesson, but what makes it unique? Well, if you see how it fits my hand, my hand's about the average size, I guess. You'd say, well, that's, got, that's a 38 Smith & Wesson. Somebody might say, that's a 357 Smith & Wesson. Look at the barrel on that thing. But you would be wrong. Not a 38, and it's not a 357. What else could it be? 9 millimeter? No. In this case, this is a special pistol right here because it is, get ready for it, a 22 long rifle. 22 long rifle pistol. So you're thinking, well, why in the world did they make a pistol so big? This is like on a 38 frame or 357 frame, and it's nothing more than a 22. Okay, this pistol, that's what's unique about it. It's a 22 on like a 38 or 357 frame. This pistol is called the K-Frame Combat Masterpiece 22 Long Rifle. It's a model 18-3, model 18-3 Smith & Wesson. And that's where we would see model 18-3 is here. Doubt you can see it, but uh, that's what this pistol is. These came out from about 1949 to 1985. They quit producing them. But imagine if you had a 38 special, uh, 38 special this size, which it would be the same size as this, or a 357 Magnum. Well, with this 22 version here, uh, you got the same sight picture. And uh, I paint my rear sight sometime on these things, uh, white and a little white tip here on the end. And try to aim them together to line them up to shoot. But you could practice with your 22 shooting all day long and your you know, cartridges would be very cheap, right? So uh, that would give you good you know, uh, practice time with the 22 long rifle because this has the same weight as a 38 or 357. This is fairly heavy for a 22. And so that's what's really unique about the combat masterpiece Smith & Wesson. One thing I will notice too, that notice this hammer. This is a wide hammer, and uh, it's got nice cuts in it right here. You can really grab a hold to that hammer. This is a, a target hammer, and this is a wide target trigger. And just a beautiful, well-made pistol with a nice bluing on it and um, I really really like this pistol it's another one of my favorite pistols and uh, again these are pretty rare today you don't see them very often I looked on gun broker and I saw one that had gone the price of that one it was an 18-3 it sold for like sixteen hundred and something dollars. Now I don't know why that pistol went that high, but um, um, I have seen them go for a thousand though on on average. Uh, a one in good condition like this maybe, but then you know then again you'll find somebody that might sell one for seven hundred dollars. It's, it's just kind of various uh, whether people know what they are or not, but. Uh, it was not uncommon to see uh, people who, in the military and police, who used 38s or or uh, 357s to want something like this that shoots at 22 because it has the same feel and everything, and you got to shoot with the, the sights and, and the feel of it, and you could practice really cheaply with 22 long rifles, you know. So that was a, a good thing to have there. But I just want to show you this model 18-3 Smith & Wesson known as the K-Frame on the Combat Masterpiece edition of this Smith & Wesson. And so if you find one of these, you, you've got a real treasure, I think. And they're, again, very cheap to shoot. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Gary J.